and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be explaining about how I get my horse fit for the eventing season. As a lot of you know we've been in lockdown so things have been a bit difficult and we haven't really been able to prepare our horses for the event season like we usually would have done. For instance I would have normally have taken him to a few dressage competitions, some show jumping competitions and also taken him cross country schooling and everything like this but obviously nothing is open to do that at the moment so I have actually entered the event which is Munstead on the 4th of April which I'm really looking forward to but bearing in mind I haven't actually done any training I've actually entered the class below what I normally would have just so that it's a nice easy spin around the course and it's more of just like a training show because I haven't jumped on grass haven't done dressage on grass or even any dressage practice or anything basically so I'm really looking forward to finally getting our horses out I will just tell you my schedule on how I'm now getting him fit for the event in season so basically over the winter I sort of I gave him a little holiday for a couple of weeks and then I sort of just kept him ticking what well, I don't know what my hair's doing um I can say there so in the winter basically I just sort of kept him ticking along I rode him sort of every other day really but now I'm stepping up his schedule and his training sessions for also doing them for a bit longer but also doing a few more sessions so for instance I'm now riding him five times a week as opposed to say three or four so basically what I do during the week is I tend to have one schooling session of flat work one jumping session and then the rest is hacking and fitness work at the minute it's too wet to kind of do any canter work so I yesterday I actually took him in the arena and just pelted him around there for a bit just for a bit of fitness and to get some energy out of him as he's feeling rather fresh at the moment so yeah I tend to do one flat work one jump in a few hacks or maybe just a couple of hacks and then he has days off and then maybe a lunge and pole work day I like to lunge him over some poles and I think it's really good for them to strengthen their core so I also try and do this once a week. So now we're actually allowed to have our instructors at our own yards. We're not allowed to travel our horses, but we're allowed the instructor at our yard. So actually, I'm going to have my first lesson next week, which is really exciting because I haven't had a lesson in months. I think the last time I took Cyril out was January, which was to a show jumping competition, which he was really good at. So luckily he was a really good boy, but I literally haven't been able to take him out at all since then. So we've got a show jumping lesson on Wednesday and then the following Wednesday. It's only one week after that and then it's the event. So... I'm going to have a couple of lessons leading up to the event. Also, my event's on the 4th, which is a Saturday or a Sunday. And then the Monday of that week, we're allowed to start taking our horses out. So I've actually booked in to take him to Lodge Farm, which is a cross-country calling, which is a cross-country schooling place. That's actually quite a tongue twister. Cross-country schooling, cross-country schooling, cross-country schooling, cross-country schooling place. So I can take him for a spin round there before Munstead. So that's really good. We're doing that on the Wednesday and then Munstead's on the weekend. So at least I've been able to take him out then for a bit of a spin round on grass. So that's really good news. I won't have done any show jumping on dressage, but to be honest, we can just wing that. That's fine. Also, the sessions that I'm doing, I'm now doing for a bit longer. So when I do the flat work, I'll do it for more like 45 minutes as opposed to half an hour, which I was before. Jumping sessions, I just sort of do for as long as we need. And then the fitness work, I like to do interval training when I can, when it's dry enough. I sort of do a few minutes cantering and then I come back to walk or trot for a minute and then a few minutes cantering. And yeah, sort of do interval training like that. Also, one thing I like to do before the event season starts is give Cyril a physio session. So he's actually booked in for the physio the week before our event, which I will actually get a video of and I will post a YouTube video on how the physio sessions work and what you do within that session. Also, I've just bought Cyril the Equilibrium massage pad, which I'm going to use before and after training, any riding sessions. And also, I think it'd be really useful to take a vent in so I can wear that before we do the dressage and then also cool his muscles down after the cross country with this massage pad. So I hope you enjoyed this video on learning about how I get my horse fit for the eventing season and also how I prepare for it. So I shall see you in the next video.